Morales fight. We saw Aaron Morales have his moments. We saw Amir Khan have moments with him. And the thing I worry about is that this is happening against older fighters. What happens when you fight a younger fresh Peterson and Lucas Matisse? You know, Lucas Matisse, who, who hits very hard, has good timing with his punches. You know, if he if Danny can't hurt none of these guys, you know, you know, and the fight goes in the late late stages, then what? He if he gasses out the way he did against that, he might potentially get knocked out. Now they say he has a good chin, but we really hasn't, you know, uh, other than Zab, and Zab is a good puncher, but Zab hasn't knocked nobody out with one knockout, one knockout power in quite some time. So, you know, I, I still again not taking anything away from Danny. You know, I do it. You know, I think he's a good fighter. Uh, he has an awkward delivery, the way he deliver deliver his punches. But I think it it, it's, it can haunt him. Cause it, again, it's, he's very slow in the draw. So we'll see how this is all going to play out. I'm hearing that they all they're all bolting. You know why 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 everybody's moving up the welterweight? The man who I'm getting ready to talk about next is on a 30 month fight deal, and everybody's trying to cash in on that lottery ticket. So we might not see all these fights take place that's on the table. So let's get into it for the sake of time. To the main course, Floyd Money Mayweather versus Robert the Ghost Guerrero. Look, far as this fight is concerned, my stance hasn't changed on Floyd Mayweather Jr. I think Floyd Mayweather, from 160 on down, if he wanted to move up to 160, I think he could and have success, even if he got to just move around the whole time. But I don't think there's anybody currently in boxing that can beat Floyd Mayweather Jr. This is my opinion. Um, I think skill-wise, intelligence-wise, I mean, from that from that weight range, I think Floyd is is one of the most smart and gifted fighters I've ever seen uh, put on a pair of gloves. There's many others, but he's one of them. I don't want people to, to start, you know, hitting the board up below like, what about this? No, I understand, and I'm very not. I did a, a whole hour show on Sweepy Pernell Whitaker. So, you know, I don't need, need no tutorial there, but... I just think that Robert the Ghost Guerrero is telling me for Floyd Mayweather Jr. I think Guerrero is a good fighter. Don't, I'm not taking any away from from Guerrero. Um, I think I thought he did a good job against Andre Berto, but Andre Berto tried to fight like Mayweather, and to have that Mayweather style with the shoulder roll, you got to be an you got to be an excellent. You, first of all, your reflexes got to be crazy. You, you know, you just got to know what you're doing to have that to utilize that style. If you don't have great reflexes. And you don't have good counter punching ability, you will be exposed with that shoulder roll style. And you saw what happened with Andre Morda, Andre Berto. I mean, Guerrero punched right through that shoulder roll nonsense because Berto didn't have the proper reflexes to defend it. Now, Mayweather's a whole different animal. And I know people are talking about his legs aren't what they used to be. And Guerrero, I think, is gonna try to crowd me. He's gonna he's gonna take use to try to use the Juan Castillo fight style. The problem is with the Castillo style is that Mayweather is a full fledged welterweight now. He's he's in and all these guys, Shane Mosley, Ricky Hatton, you know, these guys that tried to bully Mayweather found out how strong and conditioned he is. And all he's gonna do is 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 is, is space space you, you know, with his pork chops, you know, his pork chop, his his little elbow nudge. And the minute that he lock you up, lock your arm, he's been doing a lot of that. He got a little Bernard. He's doing a little, some little Bernard, too. You know, when you get older, you know, just like the old heads on the, on the basketball court, you know, you, you try to blow by him, he might grab you, grab the skin in your rib cage, you know, and, and, and do it without the referee looking in, 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 in the over-30 league. You know, this is kind of what Mayweather's doing. He got some tricks with him. It ain't all about just speed and athleticism. I always tell y'all that boxing ain't just about one-twos and left hooks and right hooks. You know, it's the little tricky things you do. You know, clinching the fighter arm, spinning and turning them, pushing them down, leaning on his back. You know, these are all the little trick things that Mayweather is doing to fighters. And when fighters get in the ring and try that little rough stuff with him, he got some tricks with him too now. Don't get it twisted. He got some tricks. Now, I will say this about this fight. Now, and, and, and let me just, before I get into to the Guerrero aspect of it, because I'm going to give Guerrero a chance to win the fight. I'm going to get my, you know, uh, uh, prognosis on that. But I will say this, that 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 Mayweather, uh, you know, he's been walking everybody. You know, these fighters, we think they're bigger, and then they get in the ring. They're not as big as we think they are. Canelo Alvarez, who I didn't get a chance to talk about, looked like they made him. They did the old Hollywood route. You know, Tom Cruise is like 5'3", but in the movie, he looked like Godzilla. They make him tall. They put short people around him. And that's kind of what they did with Canelo Alvarez, as we saw when he took on Trout. But Mayweather is, this, is the same size as a lot of these guys. Guerrero may be a little taller than 
but he's filled in, he's thick, but, you know, Mayweather's been walking these guys down, man, and, you know, he fights really well in the pocket, and that's the thing I don't think he get enough credit for, y'all are accustomed to the old Floyd, pretty boy Floyd that was bouncing around all over the place, and pot shotting people, and, you know, using crazy lateral movement, but this new, new way May Mayweather, it's been maul. he's been kind of what Andre Ward been doing to people, he's been mauling people, in the pocket, and I'm telling you, man, Guerrero's going to be, and for a surprise, when he seated the condition of, of one Floyd Mayweather Jr. Uh, inside the pocket, they, you know, I always talk about them six-inch punches, Mayweather been throwing a lot of little six-inch punches behind the ear shot, little, little, little sneaky, sneaky little punches, those are the ones that, you know, puts wear and tear on you, um, now, as far as Guerrero go, and I've been telling my Guard Grill boxing family this, he's not going to quit. He's not going to do what Victor Ortiz did. This is a man who wife beat cancer. He's been through a lot. I don't care. That means something to me. Like, a dude that been through something like that outside of the ring, that means mentally you're not breaking his will. And I'm telling y'all this now. I'm forewarning y'all. He's, like, all, like, even Mayweather's going to, Mayweather's going to have to fight in this fight. This is not going to be, you know, a, 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 a Toro Gotti. This is not going to, if you notice, like, you know, even in the Cotto fight, even though he won the car 8-4, to 9-3, however you had to fight score, he had to fight in that fight. And these fights are going to get more interesting and interesting because you still got a 36-year-old guy. Again, he doesn't, his legs, I still think they're, I mean, he's 36, so if his legs aren't the same, they aren't the same. I don't know why everybody making a big deal about that. Who gives a damn? He's 36 years old in the end. And, you know, you got to use those trickeries that I was talking about when you're a 36-year-old guy. But I think Guerrero is going to get some... I think he's going to put his hands on Floyd. And if you notice that Floyd Mayweather Sr. talked about, you know, him... You know, one of the reasons why... One of the main reasons he would put his dad back is, is for, the, you know, uh, not to be hit. We talked about hit not being hit. You know, because lately, you know, going back to the Cotto fight... Now, granted, Cotto had a good jab. I think he has better timing than Guerrero. But nevertheless, he... Cotto was able to put his hands on Mayweather. You know, he busted his nose. I put a golf ball, knock it inside the back of uh, Mayweather's head. And that bothered Mayweather. And he realized that, you know, all the stuff that he says he's flat-footed, he has no special effect, that's all true and well. But Guerrero is a rough and, tug rough and rugged uh, fighter. And he's not going to go away. He's going to be right there in front of Mayweather all day to be hit. But he's probably going to be able to put his hands on Mayweather too. And Mayweather's going to have to pull all, all the tricks out in this fight. To uh to get a victory, I got the fight going twelve rounds. Um, I know a lot of my co co partners, uh, they got it going. That they got him stopping Guerrero with a potential check cut. They see him just coming forward. I don't see that. I think um, I think Guerrero um, it's going to be there. He's going to make it a tough fight for Mayweather. He's going to have some moments. Some people are going to be shocked at how Guerrero is going to probably be able to put his hands on Floyd at times. But in, in the end, great fighters always find a way to, to get it done. And I, didn't, I haven't seen anything uh, uh, concrete to believe me that Mayweather has yet to figure out anything, how to figure out, go to a next next plan. That's what Mayweather does great. He he figures things out. And I just see him, you know, fighting well in the pocket and just beating Guerrero up on the inside. But we're going to go ahead and wrap this up, man. So much to talk about, you know, in a little bit of time, man. I appreciate all, all the love and support. Guard Your Girl Boxing is still the best boxing show on the planet. Hit me up with any streams if y'all got any to watch the fight at. Uh, uh, inbox me or send me a link. Guard Your Girl Boxing at gmail.com. I'm going to be away on a retreat. And we're not. it's supposed to be one of these ret retreats where there's no electronics and all that kind of stuff. But come on, man. I'm a diehard boxer, man. You think I'm going to be away this week and not watching this fight? Them, they are absolutely insane if they think that. So, yo, hit you. Hit your boy up with a link, man, so I can watch this fight on on a calm chili somewhere in the woods. And we'll go from there, man. One love, everybody. Guard your girl boxing. Peace.